So this is my new setup on this big coil. As you can see, there's an isolated tank circuit here. That's where the uh, small uh, portable solar scope is on. Um, I've got um, two CFLs coming to two neons there and nothing on the other end. I've just put this combination on this, on this configuration to show the possible connections. But really, I just have two, I just have this piece on right here and everything else is hanging in the open dead ended. As you can see, there's a, two runs. Um, one CFL goes, goes that way, and one CFL goes this way. So they're opposing signals in the two upper loops. This guy. I'm not doing anything with this. Uh, I have a, um, this, is where the, this is where the tank circuit is, and nothing's being done down below yet. We're going to fire all these guys up individually here eventually, because I have, for each run, there's two. So you can see for each loop, there's actually by filer of two, that's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight runs, eight separate runs for each one of these. I've got them doubled up, connected right now. I'll eventually split those out into a larger, into a larger bar. As you can see, the neons are firing away. And you can see the CFL got some chatter to it on the on the on the um, now the red one is the same as the blue one, different speed, still the same tank. I just put this. I just put the same tank on two different scopes. The yellow one is this isolated dude. As you can see, there's nothing here, and this is just a series LC. I will do. I will. I will do a. Um, I will do a parallel next, but he's not connected at all, and it's just right to the scope. So this is what this signal looks like here. As you can see, it says. 510 volts. It's quite high speed for the scope as far as the noise goes. Let me turn this. It doesn't help. Makes it worse. There. So anyway, you can see that there's quite a bit of chatter. Now, the idea behind this is this is the noise in the signal itself. So I'll take this all the way out. And you can see there's a vibration in the signal, but they're just regular sine waves coming through, which is the middle of this guy paralleled with these. So I'm sure it'd be a one-to-one. -one. But time to tell because I can't get the, uh, the scope time, the times value on the scope fast as I can go is 10 times. I need a hundred to get this level down. But you can see there's fluctuations in there, so if I speed this guy up all the way, that's what it looks like. Quite noisy, quite a bit of shifting going on. So anyway, so that's that's what I have tonight on this. With the iron core still in there, I'm going to make it so these can be snapped out. That's what I have this go around.